Evan, is that what we're yeah. expecting? Or what's Tomorrow that? Tomorrow morning, you're ready for it? Okay, Another yeah. round coming our way. Um, looks like we could get just about as much tomorrow morning as what we saw this morning. Tomorrow, we're going to favor our inland valleys or mountaintops. This morning, the coastline was the favorite. Take a look at some of the rain totals. These are updated from the National Weather Service. Oceanside, the clear winner there at a quarter of an inch. Congratulations, Oceanside. He came in with decent numbers here. Point Loma, just over a tenth of an inch. Kearney Mesa, nearly a tenth of an inch. Much lighter inland. So Santee and Ramona, you can see how light those accumulations are. Barely two one hundredths of an inch for Ramona. When we look at the satellite radar imagery, I want to start off with early this morning. That wave came through, made its way inland and broke apart. But if we zoom in a little bit and pause this at where we've been over the last, say, hour or so, there's been nearly no activity. I mean, moving just to the west of Pine Valley, we've got uh, this small area of precipitation, and then it's now continuing to move east from there. So right now, we haven't picked up up on number one any snow yet that's going to be reserved for late tonight into early tomorrow above about 4500 feet is right now the cutoff for that snow uh, earlier this morning it was around 5500 feet so it's going to be dropping from late tonight into early tomorrow coastline is completely dry out there as we head through this 11 o'clock hour so we'll keep monitoring this but right now what we are favoring is that by the time we get to about 4 or 5 p.m. You see the timestamp there on the top right. We're going to be dry across the county and we may even see some of those clouds breaking apart. A little bit of sunshine in the mix here for the afternoon hours. Temperatures are not going to reflect that. We're going to stay in the mid 60s, much cooler than average. That's across the county, regardless of if you get sun or not. It'll just be an additional, uh, you know, gift to you by the afternoon to get a little bit of the sun peeking through. But if we fast forward all the way through your overnight hours, that's when showers start to pop back up on the screen. So by the time we get to midnight or so, we are going to start to see a little bit of green coming through. By the time we get into our morning show tomorrow, so if you join us at 4:35 a.m. tomorrow, what well, we're going to have more green here popping up. A couple embedded thunderstorms for the areas in orange and red. Snow above about 4,500 feet. That's the pink and the blue on the screen, and all the this continues through that morning commute time. So if you're going to be out on the roads, keep that in mind too, that you may need to pump the brakes a little bit more than usual. Use the windshield wipers too. It's all going to be uh, in handy depending on where you're driving. Let's take a look at what our total accumulations could look like because it's important to note that again, tomorrow is going to be favoring your inland valleys as well as your mountains and your deserts. Julian could pick up on a third of an inch there. Same with Palomar Mountain, Ramona, Alpine, maybe even El Cajon. Otherwise, Poway picking up on an extra a tenth of an inch. All of these numbers uh, are adjusted pretty much every half hour or so, so still could change between now and say tonight or early tomorrow morning, but these are uh, the same numbers that our models have favored for the last couple days or so, so they seem to be uh, given with pretty high confidence there. Looking at your forecast high temperatures, we're going to stay in the 60s. It was only a couple weeks ago that those Santa Ana's brought us into the 90s. Now we're going to see our afternoon highs peak at about 64 degrees from Fallbrook all the way down through Poway in Del Mar 66 for San Diego and 68 for El Cajon. We get even colder into tomorrow. So take a look. Here's that eight day tomorrow morning. We're going to have more showers coming through overnight lows aren't too bad, but we will see cooler afternoon highs peaking in the upper 50s for your inland valleys going into Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hey, we are dry. We've got a ridge of high pressure building sunshine temperatures slightly building. We may even get some offshore flow uh, Sunday. Remember early in the morning, Saturday into Sunday, you're going to set those clocks back one hour. And then as we go into Monday, Tuesday, boy, rain is back in the forecast. We could always use it, so we're happy to see it there. But keep in mind in the back of your head, at least early next week, Monday, Tuesday, still a lot of uncertainty as to how much it could bring, but looks like we'll get at least those cloudy skies and maybe a few more showers in the mix. Latest on this forecast, as well as the wind that we are still picking up on across the mountains and deserts, very windy out there. You can find all the info on our website, cbs8.com slash weather.